Hi fellas, welcome back. Here to see Jamie and his folks all, is it Chevette? Chevette, yeah. Running a C20 C20 let. let. Yep. About 540 brake. 540. You built it yourself? Yeah, all myself. Wicked looking thing. It is. Not everyone's taste, but it's uh, meant to go fast. Yeah, it's definitely different. different. Isn't it? Definitely different. Did you say you paid 800 quid for the shell? 800 quid for the shell. Rolling shell when I first got it. No interior, no engine. Just uh, came back, back of a lorry, completely unseen. <laughs> Bought off I Facebook. How long have you had it? Four years now. Four years? Yeah. I love it, mate. It's a bit like a Mark 1 Escort kind of thing, isn't it? Like yeah, sort of. Like the poor, ma poor man's Ford Escort. So you put the engine and everything in there? Yeah, I put the engine in. All the mounts are built by me uh, in the garage at home. What's the engine out of? Like a cab turbo? Or a yeah, it's turbo? out of a Calibre turbo as a block. Uh, the rest of it is all aftermarket, so aftermarket rods, pistons, valve springs, cams, everything's Did aftermarket. You build the engine yourself as yeah, well? Yeah, just all built at home in the garage. Can we pop the button have a look? Yeah, of course. Ah. Oh, you've got hydraulics as well? Yeah, <laughs> off me, my very first course of them, they've survived 20 the years. Big ones? No, for the bonnet, the original oh, yeah. one for the bonnet. Used to have an old Corsa GSI V6, and that's one of the last things off it. So have you made all this as well, all the inlet? It was bought off um, a front wheel drive drag car, so it went the opposite way. So I removed it, cut it all up and welded it back together. So you were saying you're uh, you TIG, you TIG well? Yeah, that, TIG well, uh, mechanical engineer by trade, so just weld almost anything. So is this what colour you fancy doing the car eventually? This Potentially. Purple? It's either going to be the purple or a, a British racing green maybe. Oh, that would some, be cool. Some gold British accents. Maybe. So a turbo one that you got? So it's an Owen Development uh, GTB 6976. It's meant to be the size of a GT30 with a power of a 35. Right. And it definitely delivers on that. What kind of boost are you running? Uh, it's running 28 PSI at the moment. Makes 540.7 brake horsepower. Where do you get one loaded? Uh, EFI parts in Runcorn. Chris is absolutely brilliant with anything right. aftermarket Vauxhall. Mint. Recommend him to anyone. I love these like. I never really paid that much attention to them until I seen yours. I was like, ooh, <laughs> fancy one of them. Nobody ever pays attention to it until it's going past them. <laughs> so what weighs that you got on? Uh, so the rotor, RKRs, eight inch wide, uh, all round. Uh -huh. Willwood yeah. brakes? Willwood four pots on the front, 256 mil discs. Like of uh, uh, Astro GTE kind of yeah, size? Yeah, same size of brake, uh, same size um, disc, and then the calipers after market. What? what kind of seats you got in Astro GTE? So the, yeah, Mark 1 Astro GTE seats. Uh, custom subframes made by me to get them low enough and far enough back that we can actually sit in them. <laughs> can we go for a drive? Yeah, of course we can. Well, you see, shut the door. Put my belt on, then shut the door. Belt on first, then shut the door. What's the procedure if we crash to get out then? Belt off, then open the door. Well, hope you're still alive. <laughs> Count your fingers. <laughs> what gearbox did you say was on it? It's um, a Ned Jaguar XJ6 G-Chag 265 five-speed gearbox. Mounted the what? What's it? How's so it's it? got a custom adapter plate that goes from uh, a four type nine to XE bell housing. All oh, right. And right. then they have the, um, an AP racing twin plate racing clutch on top of it. And what about your prop shaft? Is it just prop shaft? Just a custom three inch prop shaft to handle the power, obviously. Did you make the prop? No, I had it made by a company. Oh, so right. It's not worth risking your life for it. <laughs> a dodgy weld on a prop. <laughs> nice to know it's done right. All right. So it is noise in here. Oh, I like your uh, dials in that mind. Yeah. So I've been I've been rushing this week to try and get it in. Where are them from? Uh, AIM, AIM at Motorsport, but yeah, really good, it does a full day at logging, so when we go drag racing, see what happens on the run, make sure so everything's okay. So what management are you on? Uh, DTA S60 Pro, right. so it's all custom man uh, management, all the wiring loom were done by me on the front room floor, which was well, easily misses. <laughs> Just come home one day and I've got wiring scattered out everywhere. Scattered all, all over. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah. How long's it there for? Uh, a good day and a half. Was it? Yeah. It's not too bad, she is it? She was thrilled. <laughs> What suspension you got in the back? Is it on leaf springs or something? Or? No, so it's on um, Nova rear coilovers on the Is back. It? Yeah. And on the front, it's on Corsa B rear coilovers. No, it's just on wastegate at the moment. What, the boost? Yeah. So what power do you think it's making at the minute? It's about 3, 320 at the moment. Right. On, uh, on this setting. But it's still absolutely it's ridiculous. Right, it's scary. Point. Yeah. What is it weird? Have you had it weird? It weighs just over 900 kilos. So Is it? Yeah. Without but, you in? Yeah, without me in. Absolutely ridiculous. But it's about a ton and a half of us to win, then. <laughs> you see, you were last drives this as well, didn't you? She does, the missus drives it. Not on uh, not on full boost, obviously. <laughs> but. What year is it for? 82, this one. 1982? Yeah. 
same age as me then. <laughs> a little bit older than me. How old are you? Uh, 33 now. Oh, yeah. yeah, so a few years on me. So it'll be coming up 39, 38 this car then? Yeah. Almost uh, almost tax exempt. Is it? Yeah. They still do that? They do, whether this will qualify or not, I'm not sure. How do you have to qualify for that? Uh, it depends on, I don't know if it still depends on modifications or not. Ah, uh, right. Oh, they might put your tax up then. You yeah. They might put your tax up. <laughs> Could do. Two litre turbo let in. Well, it's all insured as a, uh, a two litre and 500 horsepower of all the... Is it? Yeah. yeah. How much is your insurance? It's not that much, it's uh, 300 pound a year with That's all the... Um, with all breakdown cover and stuff as well. Aye. Uh, uh, so you've never declared know. all the mods? Yeah, everything's declared. Just wheel spin, constant wheel spin. When's the grip like third? Uh, top end of third. Does it? Yeah. So is he getting in the naughty fingers that tends to get grip? Pretty much. So originally it had 56 brake horsepower, <laughs> so it's like 10 times its original times. power. <laughs> yeah. got a big tunnel hasn't it for like quite an hour part, have you modified the tunnel? Yeah, so all, all the, because of the size of the gearbox, all the tunnels had to be cut out and redone. So all ah, this right. new, fairly new. So is this standard? Yeah, that's standard. I managed to make the top of it so it would fit this in. So that's off in Cadet is that one. The upper version of this car. I like your gear, like gear knob, mate. Yeah, so the, the gear knob's off, uh, well, the actual gear stick itself is off um, an old M5. Oh, an right. old, old M5, so I've modified it um, with its own little stand and linkage to go into the Jaguar gearbox. Because the Jaguar versions of this are about £300. Are they? I'm a tight Yorkshire man. <laughs> I'm like, hey, hang on, I, I can make some of this at work. <laughs> do, you, do you take a change at work, like Leeds and Millers and yeah. stuff like that? Yeah, so all, all the, the rear axles all on ladder bars. It's all yeah. what? All on ladder bars. Oh, right. So all the ladder bar for the rear axle is all made on the lathe at work. Oh, really? Yeah, so... You make yourself? Yeah, I've done all that myself. All the measurements and dimensions. I had uh, some help from me... Uh, my friend in Wales, uh -huh. uh, called Alex Darcy, he uh, helped me quite a lot building this because he's got something similar. He's got the Opal version of this car, uh -huh. so yeah, he helped me quite a lot. It's a cool thing, like, I love it, mate. Who made the cage? Or was it like an off the shelf one? It's actually, it's a safety device's cage, but it's for a hatchback, not a... Oh, so right. Then, so, it's been cut and modified on the rear arms. The front half all fits the same, but the, the rear half has had to be cut and modified. Is it welded in? No, it's just bolted. Bolted in? Yeah. Do you track it or anything like that? So, I do go drag racing with it. So 
been to Santa Pod with it last year and blew it up. Did you? Yeah. What did you blow up? Uh, we were, blew up the um, the head. It torched the head. Oh, uh, right. I think... Um, Sounds expensive. It was. So it was new new block, new pistons, new heads, oh. new cams, everything. New engine? Yeah, pretty much new engine. And at that point I decided to upgrade the ECU, so I was running um, a DTS 40 at the time, so I upgraded to the S60 for a bit more reliability uh -huh. and a bit more control of the engine. Perfect. What's that, Matt? Is that your clutch? Yeah, it's, it's the gearbox and the clutch. That's yeah, that I, I used to worry about it, but it's done it for four years <laughs> and nothing's ever happened. <laughs> so. so we're at the steady third gear pump. Yeah. Last time. I can rip a little bit, you can feel the back end was starting to come out ah, a little bit, so we're... I'm a bit nervous there in the back, I can feel the back end yeah. a bit. Hey, I like you're driving like drifting and stuff like that, are you? Yeah, well, when I first did it, I wasn't... <laughs> well, you know, get used to it. Yeah, so, I was saying, my first ever rear-wheel drive car, my first ever petrol turbo car, this and this, this was it. So, yeah, yeah it took, uh, it took a bit of learning curve. Oh, yeah, a lot of learning very quickly. <laughs> On, Jamie. Thanks a lot for no that, problem. like I appreciate that. Do you want to leave any links to your Instagram or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, so my Instagram's Chev underscore lit. Alright, I'll leave a link just to that. Jamie's Instagram below. Anything else you want to leave a link to? Uh, no, no, just that. Spot on. Thanks for meeting Please. up. No problem, thank you for coming over. I right, appreciate it, like. It's thank always you. fun to get, no, get out in a uh, mad car. <laughs> yeah. um, but I'll catch you on the next one, fellas. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See ya. Spot on, mate. Nice Thanks for that. Thank you very much. Sweating now. I bet you are. It's different, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. At least it's not raining. Do you yeah. know what I mean when I said if it was raining, there was just no chance. <laughs>